Hello everyone, dear subscribers and viewers of the channel. Vitaly Sokolov is with you. In this video we will learn how to work with polygons and text in GL Engine 2D. And before we start, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and write a comment. The description under the video contains details for financial support of the channel and useful links. Thank you all in advance. First, let's comment out the drawing of graphic primitives from previous videos so that they do not interfere with us. To work with a polygon, we declare an array of points. In our case, there will be a decagon, which means we declare 10 points from 0 to 9 in the array. The array type is TGL point. Then you need to set the coordinates of each point. After that, the polygon method is called. The x, y coordinates are given in parentheses. These are the coordinates of the additional shift relative to the original coordinates of each point. Each point of the polygon will be shifted by the specified shift values that is, they are added to the point's original coordinates. This is useful if you need to move the figure to new coordinates without changing the coordinates of each point separately. Then we specify the rotation angles angle rotate and TES angle rotate. At the end, the name of the array of points is passed, according to which the figure will be built. To output text, the text out method is present. The x, y coordinates for text output are indicated in brackets, then the necessary text is written in single quotes or a variable is passed that stores the text of the string type. But it must first be declared in the var section. The set text style method is used to change the font of the displayed text. The parentheses indicate the name of the font and its size. It is also possible to use your own fonts in the form of pictures. First, a global variable of type cardinal is declared. It cannot be declared local, since we will work with it in different procedures or functions. Then, using the load image method, an image in BMP, JPG, TGA or PNG format is loaded into it. The path to the image is given in parentheses. Due to the extract file dir or extract file path command, we get the path to the folder in which the launch file of our application is located and then add an additional path if required and the file name, taking into account its extension. When working in Embarcadero Delphi, put the images in the correct folder with the launch file, depending on which platform you are compiling for and what type of debug or release. Next, a variable is specified into which the image of the cardinal format is loaded. At the end, we indicate whether the image should be loaded from the resource. If necessary, write true, if not, write false. To display a font as an image, use the text out use image font method. The x, y coordinates for display on the screen are indicated in brackets, then the text itself is written in single quotes. If you need to write text not in one line, but in several, then you need to add a line break character number 13, which is added with a plus sign between different lines. Next is the name of the variable that stores the font. Then the text rotation angle is specified from 0 to 360. At the end, the width and height of the letters are specified. If instead of displaying characters only a colored background is displayed, you can try either to remove the second instance of the engine if you have created one, or set its initialization before the instance of the engine on which you are working with text. That's all for me. If this video was useful or interesting for you, put your finger up and write a comment, as well as subscribe to the channel to be aware of the release of new videos. In the description under the video there are details for financial support of the channel. Your help is very important. Vitaly Sokolov was with you. See you in the next videos.